Hey guys, this is Chris Schmidt. I'm just basically going to show you real quickly um, a couple of different screens inside of Cubase 5. What I've done here is I've actually programmed uh, the drums for a song that uh, me and a buddy of mine actually wrote. Um, it's called Forsaken. And what I did is uh, we started recording all the different parts and then we went back and actually programmed all the drums. Um, so it's kind of a hybrid. Um, let me go ahead and open up the piano roll. I just clicked on the MIDI track where actually this is all the drums for the entire song. And it looks like a lot of uh, chicken scratch and stuff like that. But basically what you're going to be seeing inside of here is each one of these dots, okay, these little squares, these are, depending on where they are, um, they're going to trigger different drum samples. So if I click and drag them to different things, you can kind of hear how they're kind of toggling through a whole bunch of different sounds. Snares, hi-hats, all that kind of stuff. So basically... Um, what you're going to be looking at down here is these are the velocities okay now velocity basically is just the, what it really means is the speed of how fast it was actually triggered but at the same point in time what it really means to you is just kind of think of it as the dynamics the higher the stick the louder the actual hit is the louder the sample that's played back so what I did is I adjusted these velocities like a real drummer would play soft and, and hard in certain spots that's what they're basically representing so as you go through you can see that these are like kicks down here snares, you got open hi-hats, closed hi-hats, uh, up here you got crash cymbals, toms. So basically what you're going to be doing is this is like a drum fill here and you get to see it all the way through. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play the song and let you just kind of watch uh, the drums actually play through the entire song. So you can see that up here you're going to see that the playhead is going to just continue through the song and uh, you can also just observe how some of the fills actually worked. I'm also going to open up a second screen uh, called the drum editor and what that does is that actually shows you um, what they look like inside of this. Now this right here I haven't mapped it out perfectly but like as you can hear whoop, those right here let me just actually get those back I made a mistake but uh, anyways right here you can actually name like that's a symbol So instead of uh, having to look at a piano roll, you can actually uh, know that that's actually your symbol. So up here, you'll see that this, some of them are already, you know, by default correct. So you see like bass drum and side stick and acoustic snare, but you can rename these to be flams and anything that's uh, appropriate to what you're doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and play the song for you and uh, just watch how it progresses. <laughs>
So there you have it. Get to see what the actual drums look like programmed throughout the entire song with all the drum fills and everything else. And again, um, you know, depending on what you're actually looking for, uh, some of these right here, just by clicking and dragging, you can actually drag in hi hats really simply, and it'll actually play all those across. So this kind of an editor is just, you know, it's meant for programming only drums. Um, and again, you can actually load in presets and drum maps and stuff like that that are actually specific. So you can actually see where this is like bass drums and so, you know acoustic snares and open hi hats and all sorts of cool stuff that you can do uh, within Cubase Five. Um, you can also do these things inside of other programs. Uh, it's just that this is an efficient way of looking at it. A matter of fact, as you can see, that this this screen looks substantially different because it looks uh, like a bunch of little diamonds, and that just represents all the kicks to snares and everything else. Um, so, anyways, uh, hopefully this has been uh, helpful, so you can actually see how um, you know you can program drums for an entire track and make it sound like a realistic drummer nowadays. So. Um, if you guys have any other questions or any comments, uh, please uh, you know visit me at uh, chromaticmusic.com and check out some of my YouTube videos as well. And uh, hope to see you soon.